Hey guys, so it is 12.25 here. This is my first cup of coffee I had today. Got up and then I had to take Isaiah to the doctor. He's got like some kind of cold or some crap going on. So, did that. And then we went and got some um, KFC and brought it home. We ate that and then we watched movies. And now I am fixing to watch this. Watch some Hocus Pocus before I go to work. Yes. So, I'm so tired today. I'm exhausted. My body aches all over. I had a, I pulled a double last night. I worked from, um, it was, I went in at six in the morning and didn't leave till 10 that night. So I worked like 16 hours. Whoops. And so I'm exhausted. And really and truly like this cup coffee right here is like totally um, cold. I'm just like so tired. I can't even drink coffee. I know that's crazy. I normally, I normally gotta have my coffee and this morning I'm like just barely going. Come here, Tootsie Girl. Okay, so I had to come out here to feed the chickens a minute ago and I figured I'd bring y'all along with me. Sarge is at it again this morning, or this evening, I should say. He's got a Marcus place. His, um, Territory. There he goes. He's a mommy's boy. Sarge. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, bud boy? He's a sight. Anyway, so I got to work again at 2 to 10. I'm dreading it. Because I'm just so tired. Like, literally, I'm tired. He's still back there doing something. And today's one of those days I got up. No makeup at all. Like I said, my back's hurting. And last night when I came home, I took a shower. He's still back behind there. I took a shower with that menthol stuff from Math and Body Works. It helped really good and like I was so tired and my body was aching all over and I had this Noxema and I put it all over my face and it felt so good. I was like, well, and then I went to bed around about 11, 11.30, but I got to go at it again today. He's eating leaves. Anyways, I wanted to... Uh, talk about something real quick um on that video that i did about the donuts where i was like supposedly teasing sarge over here actually guys i love my animals as you can tell he's perfectly fine there aren't you sarge but anyways a lot of people um well it wasn't a lot it was a handful of people but they brought up even like Christianity and like they couldn't believe that I would tease a dog and I'm supposed to be Christian guys some people just go way too far to extents that back there is my dog I love my animals I love my pets if I could I would live on a farm but unfortunately I can't um they're spooled rotten you know y'all like I said time and time again videos that i do y'all get snippets of pieces of my life it's not like the whole thing so what happened with the donut deal i had come home from work i had worked a long shift um i sat down sarge was out and before i was even filming i was eating my donut and sarge was trying to like get my donut for me and so he kept on like pouncing around and doing all this kind of numbers. Well, you know, I thought it was kind of cute how he was acting, you know, because, you know, he's, he's a boy, Sarge. 
and he's feisty. But anyway, so there at the end, I'm like, well, I'm going to record some of this because I thought it was cute. Uh, you can take snib bits of a film and a video and you can stretch it to where you want to. But I was not teasing Sarge in a bad way about my donut because as a matter of fact, um, before I even filmed that, I gave him about the donut part, the bottom part. And then after that, I gave him more of the donut. So it's not like I was depriving him from food or any of, any of that matter. But as far as my Christianity, um, teasing my pet back here for a donut, that has nothing to do with, you know, my video. So I don't even know why people like to attack Christianity in that manner. It don't make no sense. But anyways, my animals are very loved. They're awesome. My animals are, are part of our family. I treat them basically, you know, like they're one of us because they're family. You know, I'm all time thinking about my pets. I'm all time getting them bones and getting them treats. And every time I come home from a store, if I forget them a treat, I feel bad about it because, hey, they stick their nose in bags because they want their treat. But anyways, nor do I have to explain anything, but I mean, I just wanted to clear that out of the air because my animals are well taken care of. And you know, you can, you can take that little video and um, look at it either way you want to, but by no manner were, was I being mean to my animal. What's that, buddy? Sargy. And as a matter of fact, we've spent a lot of money on our pets, you know, so we don't deprive them of anything. Do we, buddy? Sarge. You would tell them, wouldn't you, buddy? What are you eating? Sarge, what are you eating, buddy? I was trying to tell him about the donut deal. <laughs> He's like, whatever. But... He did get a few bites of donut the bo before and after, so it wasn't like, you know, I was being like, not even sharing anything with my pet, because I was. Anyways, look at these vines right through here. It's pretty cool. But I just um, noticed a lot of videos. I mean, com several comments about that, and it's quite ridiculous. You know, I know I put my stuff out there for you all. But one thing I've never understood, and I'm, I'm talking about myself, if I'm watching a video and I don't like it, or if there's something that this person does on the video on YouTube or whatever, I don't call them out and say, hey, blah, 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 this is what I do. I will get out of the video. But I'm not one to be rude and disrespectful, so to each their own and I think it's all based upon what kind of person that person is so and my chickens are having a good day today they're at it again yeah every time I come out here they do that and of course there's Miss Roxy what you doing girl what are you doing, Roxy? So, here in Tennessee, guys, it has been raining today. Like, the weather's real, like, mucky and cloudy. Yesterday, oh, Jesus, I was, like, totally going to work, and it was, like, 5.30-ish in the morning. And, Sarge, Sarge, where did he go? He's still exploring. But anyways, there's a mosquito out here. It was like 5.30 in the morning. And the humidity and the heat was so bad. Like, it felt like it was like dead summer. Like, it was like extremely hot. And then around about 2 or 3, I came back outside during my break time. And I stood out there and I was like, wow, what is this weather thinking? Like, the weather was crazy yesterday. And it's still kind of humid. Let me show you guys, you know. All the crickets are out. Leaves are falling, falls in the air. Sarge is exploring again. I'm 
But yeah, my dogs are actually spoiled rotten, just saying. Sarge. And luckily this year, before we got those uh, pills from the vet, we had to go there and get them this summer. And it's just one pill that they take. And the, the whole entire summer, you don't have to worry about ticks. This summer, we didn't have to worry about not one tick on our pets. Like, it was amazing. I was like, and like, whenever we first got got the pill, like, um, if they would have been outside and like one or two got on them, like, the, the, like, at first, the tick would bite them. And since like the pill was just getting in their system, like, it would bite, but, but then it would fall off. It was kind of weird. But that's how potent those pills were. What are you doing down in there? What are you doing, buddy? Dorge. Big boy. Dorgey. Sarge. He's like, whatever. Hey, Sarge. Can mommy get a picture of you, buddy? Nobody wants to see your butt, dude. Sarge. Dorge. Get out of there. Come on, big boy. Tell mommy about it. Don't jump. I got to go to work, boy. Go play. Get it. Go get it. Hurry. I got to go to work, dude. I'm going to get to. I'm going to get to. Easy. Go get it. Come on. Go get it. Where's your toy? Where's your toys? Let's go find them. Go get it, boy. Go get it. That bloomed. Wild child. Wild child. So, guys, off to work I go. I totally forgot my coffee. Well, that's due for a turnaround. See, only this stuff happens to me. Like, totally. Like, why does this happen to me? Why do I forget my stuff? I get, like, not even an inch out of my driveway and realize I forget my daggum coffee. Got my lunchbox back here. Got my windows down. I need to put them up some because my hair is going to be all over the place. Anyways, gotta hey get guys, let's try this madness again. So, and this is only like a, I was going to make iced coffee, but I didn't, the coffee was too hot and I didn't want to have time to like let it sit down. I didn't want to put a lot of ice in it because then it would be watered down. So I know that's a lot of steps, right? But anyway, so I just made an extremely small cup of um, pumpkin spice. It's like that much. And so it's gonna be stout and ready to go. I put a sweet and low in there and I put some coffee creamer. Boo y'all. So off to work we go. It's so pretty out here. The leaves and stuff are starting to change. They're like orange and red and all different colors. I knew the moment like the um like it rained real bad the other day. I knew like the next day and then like the week after all the leaves and stuff will be changing. Anyways. I get off again in a couple of days, so. Super excited. Do you ever just feel like you could sleep for one whole day? And then like you wish you could sleep for one whole day and not even have to do anything. And then 
when you actually do get to sleep, it's like you wake up. Like I woke up at like 7.35 this morning. And I woke up and I'm like, I'm gonna go back to sleep. So I went and used the bathroom, laid back down. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm like, I think that when your body's so tired, it's like it's hard to even rest. That's how I get. Cause I'm always used to like doing stuff and going on the go. And like, even when I get sick, like I'm still going. It's like, I never let my body, I don't know. My body's so different than everybody's, I guess. I know there's others that's this way. Like if you get sick, like I had the freaking um, pneumonia and stuff. And then like when I had strep throat last year, I would still just go, but it did knock me on my butt. But I still like got up and you know done what I needed to do. I don't know. But like right now I'm at that point I'm just exhausted today, and I hate that feeling. It's like wow. It's like you don't want to do nothing but just sit and just you know relax. But we can't. So. Hope everybody's day's going good. I know my allergies are starting. For the past month or so, my allergies have been giving me a fit. There's a lot of people out today. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to come on and say hello. Sarge finally got calmed down. That boy, he was wanting to raffle hard, buddy. These are here. These are these peach rings. These are like the bomb. These are like one of my all-time favorite gas station candies of all times. These peach rings. And we picked those up. And I was at pick those up. Little sour worms. That's by the same brand there.